I mean, if we disregard the eyeliner, she really pulled through. <laughs> It's me, Megan Daznaki. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. As you can tell from the title, this is a challenge video. This is my first challenge I've ever done here on the YouTube. So I am definitely excited. So this is the one dip challenge or one pump, one squeeze. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess I should show you what I'm going to use first. <laughs> With the C.A.T. London, just because it was right here, not any specific reason. It was literally the only primer that was right here. This is the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little squeeze. All right, and that's that's all she wrote. Um, this is an interesting primer. This is very sticky, I think. <laughs> Then I'm going to go ahead with my foundation. This one I am not worried about at all. This is my Tarte Shape Tape Matte Foundation in the shade Fair Light Neutral. And it's on the... Oh, it's even got that little extra boy. I almost want to like take that off because I don't think I need that much even. So I just pulled that straight out there. Whatever's on the dofa is what I get to use. And honestly, this is what I use all the time, which is why I picked this foundation. So I'm just going to put this on my face like I normally would. Until there is no more left on the dofa. Because that's one dip. I just pulled it straight out of there. And this is what we got. <laughs> I love that foundation because a little bit does go a long way. I also didn't think about my blush. That's just like a hard like swish it around. I guess that's what we're gonna do. That's what we gotta do. Okay. And I might have some hair dye on my skin. You can't tell there's some new colors going on in my hair. And yes, I did it all myself. I'm going to help with my mom. No, we're not hairdressers. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I chose this life. All right. For my blush, I'm going to go ahead and try this Kaleido Cosmetics. Tries and I'm going to try and make it get all over my face. I'm just now seeing this shade name on here. I've been calling it skin blush the whole time, but really small, right above the barcode, it says Prima Donna. I feel a little dumb. I'm going to use my Lexi Tapered Highlighter Brush like I always use for my blush, and we're just going to rub it in. Because as soon as we pick it up, that's it. <laughs> a little heavier on the one side a extra maybe we'll go here maybe, maybe a little something yeah okay okay she got a little something something there okay joke or bronzer because that will be next I'm going to go ahead in with this one I've been using a lot lately. This is the Ramel London Natural Bronzer Waterproof 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 Bronzing Powder. Same thing. We're just going to stick it in there. This is my Morphe M104 brush. Yeah. We're going to just... Just a, it's a, it's a, just a teeniest, tiniest little tippy tap to get this off because I want this everywhere. Hi, love. Hi. You know you can't come up here. No. I only get so much product. I can't waste it on you being adorable. Okay, so. Plan of attack here. Boom. No, I said 
said you may not. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, this is actually working. What? Let's blend it out while we still have some. That's definitely hair dye, but it is what it is. Okay, so I'm not mad about that either. This is working out. Would I like more bronzer? Absolutely. I've done no product down the neck. Sorry, neck. This is a challenge. And I would have done more on the jaw. And, you know, given my nose some actual shape. But that's all we got. That's all we get. <sighs> I keep looking at my brows because they need some love. And what are we going to do with them? I feel like, obviously, brow gel. That's like a definite. So let's go ahead with the Physicians Formula Organic Wear. This is the Brow Shaping Gel with Jojoba Oil. Again, I'm just pulling it right out. We're going to keep that little extra something, something on the end there. Who needs it the most? You do. Tap that in there. We will come back. About the tail. That's usually what I use that little hunk of junk on the end of the spoolie for. Or sometimes the whole second dip just for the tail. Can we do it? It's a light brown tail, but I think she has tails. <laughs> like trying to rub off any little product that is still on there. Okay, are we ready for them eyes? Possibly, possibly not. I didn't do a face powder yet. How about let's get a little face powder up in this. Let's do my CoverGirl Clean, the Normal Skin Pressed Powder and Creamy Natural. Oh, I then spun the world. Come back to me. Fluffy M462 brush. Rub it around, rub it around, rub it around. Mmm. Fun stuff. I maybe should have waited till after my highlighter for this. But oh well. Just kind of blending out what we got going on here. Because we got something going on here. Okay. Eyeballs. I know what has the most pigment. It's obvious. It's obvious. It's going to be our Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blue Blood Palette. It does not matter which shade I dip into because they're going to have the pigment that I am wanting. I'm going to go ahead with this a nice floofy Morphe R32 brush. Oh, I didn't think about the colors I wanted. I was just like, challenge, let's go. Let's do a nice. I'm like, do I go basic or not? Nah? Let's start off with celebrity skin. Like we've been doing a nice rub around in there. I'm going to tap this into my crease. I had to think about where I wanted that to go. Oh, the brush is very brown and this is very not. I'm like afraid that one side's going to get darker than the other. Honestly, I see nothing going on here. Oh, goodness. Okay. We just need to get a little something, something on the lids. Now for, I'm just going to like kind of pack colors across, I think. I think that's what I'm going to want to do. All right. All right. Let's go ahead with Minty. 
and give it a nice press and swirl. That's what I'm talking about. out as far as it'll go. A little bit Mad Hatter-ish. Okay. We're gonna keep going. Oh, but look at all that kickback I had from all that swirly swirling I did. But it wasn't on the brush. Oof. Now I think I'm gonna jump over to Blue Monday. Shoot, let's use the same brush. Swirl it around softer this time so we don't have as much kickback. We got some color there. Dab it onto both sides. One side's definitely darker. Mistakes may have been made. Uh, it's very possible. So it's like we, I'm like, Blinking a whole bunch. <laughs> Going back and forth. That didn't do me anything. Ugh. Like, oh, don't go up there and suddenly have color. Well, that was not what I wanted it to be at all, at all, at all. Let's get a different brush. Who is going to save this look? Who? Who do we have to call in to help here? I thought Blue Monday was going to do it. I guess I'm going to go into flourishing. Oh, okay. Un oh my goodness, what was that? <sighs> Help us. <gasps> I chose this palette for a reason. This was not it, honey. Different palette. Different palette for the middle of my lid and the under eye. Nope, I'm gonna do that, but I need... I oh, said under eye, like what is she gonna do? What is she gonna do? I mean, to be fair, we already kind of got the under eye. So let's just do that middle middle of my lid. I'm going to go ahead and whip the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Palette. I am going to dip into this bottom shade, Coppin' Ice. Dip into I am going to take a big dip with my finger. I'm going to swirl my finger around in that creamy product. Yes, honey, she is Coppin' Ice. All right, and we're going to tap, 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 tap. Yes. Who's going to save us? Your finger. Your finger is going to save you. When in doubt, put the brushes out. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yep. Finger does not disappoint. It's so creamy. Okay. Possibly save the look. Honestly. Could get the under eye with this. Come off the under eye. Wow. Okay. Now that I did that, I can't use my fingers for anything. <laughs> they're all covered in cop and ice. 
Because we'll be capping the ice, baby. Whatever that is. Ice supposed to be diamonds. I don't know. Okay. We're going to do highlighter. And then we're going to come back to this mascara business. I thought I was going to try using the Rare Beauty. The Enlighten. This is in the shade Enlighten. My bad. This is the Liquid Luminizer. And you can just pull this out onto the Dofa Eye. I'm still new at using this. I think I want to put it on the back of my hand. I don't really want to put it directly onto my face. But if that might waste product. I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to rub everything that we can off of that Dofa. On to the back of my hand. Go ahead with my Morphe R34 brush. And... Carefully. Oh, yep. Yeah. I just like some blue or something crazy in there. Great. Good stuff. The idea of liquid highlighter still kind of terrifies me. Even though I bought this, I was like, yes, I want the highlighter. I scare myself sometimes. But again, this is a product that a little bit can go a long way, so this might be my saving grace. Yes, this is working nicely. Back of my hand is also going to be very shiny. I think that's just that. I'm <laughs> making sure it's not my coffin finger. Okay, okay, okay. That works. That works for me. I should have wiped off that fallout from the blue, but it is what it is. And it gives it a more fun look anyways. I still feel like I look really pale or something crazy. I don't know. That's interesting. Okie dokes. What is next on our magical makeup journey today? We need to do mascara. And I was going to do eyeliner hmm that'll be funny won't it yes it will be so fun whoo okay i mean this is what we bring it home right this is what we bring it home so where i was gonna i'm debating between using regular eyeliner and not <laughs> i don't know, like using gel i think i'm just gonna use gel because that way we're gonna get there faster no, I mean, we're going to get there faster. We are going to cover more ground. We're going to get there faster. I, like, suddenly can't find what I'm looking for. There we go. Okay. Is it the sharpest it could be? Never. We're going to use this. Pixie by Petra. Endless Silky Eye Pen. Even though it's a pencil. Okay. As soon as I... It gets off my eye, then that's that, you know? Uh, okay. Oh, I don't know where I want to start. Eh. I'm just going to go for it. see at one point. I was like, I can't see, but I also can't take it off. Not the worst. All right, other side. That's <laughs> don't match. No, they don't. All right, mascara, because it doesn't really matter at this point, I'm going to go ahead with Maybelline Snap Scara. I say it doesn't really matter. This is a, a not a waterproof mascara. Um, I wear it within a couple hours. I like done mess all that up. Let's put it back in the tube, but try again. 
just pull it straight out as is. I'm like wiping off all this excess. But it is not a waterproof mascara. Not that all my mascaras are, but I just tend to notice that with this particular mascara, within a couple hours, or if you get anywhere close to your eyes or touch your eyelashes, it's going to start flaking, and those flakes of mascara will fall onto your face. And then if you don't notice, then they start to, like, blend into your creases, and then you've got black creases or black spots under your eyes, and we don't want that. So I'm just looking out for you, sis. If I'm just running a couple errands, not trying to do a ton of makeup, then this is the mascara that I do a snap to it. <laughs> actually working out too I wasn't sure how many dips in the mascara wand and mascara tube it would take to coat my lashes with this cheaper mascara and the one dip challenge was all it needed all right lips lips again I'm gonna go in with something that is a tried and true I know it's gonna get me good because this is not not so good so this is mellow Cosmetics. This is their matte liquid lip paint in the shade Shanghai. If you look in the description below, I keep like pumping it all. I don't think pumping it's a bad thing. Um, but if you look in the description below, I have a referral link that you can use. That's what we got. And it saves you money on anything from Mellow Cosmetics, not just their lip products. The only thing is that you have to use my referral link. Otherwise, it just it doesn't save you money. And, like, who doesn't want to save money? <laughs> One dip was plenty. All right. You already know this is going to be a joke, so let's hit it with that spray. That was not even... Yeah, I felt a little bit of that. So, there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed my first ever YouTube beauty makeup challenge. This is the one dip challenge. Give me a one thumbs up if you liked this video. And if you like challenges, let me know what you think down below. What you think of my new hair if you want some details on we that. You can have a little get ready with me and I can talk you through my hair if that's something you want to know about because I did it myself. My last uh, like two years, year and a half of hair coloring and journey has all been done by me. So let me know if that's something you're interested in down below. Let me know what you think. I hope that you subscribe and stay tuned to more videos. Um, check out the videos here on the screen that I've already recorded and yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!